Assalamu alaikum guys, it's Rahima here, um, back on Prime Live. And once again, I'm very happy to introduce, alhamdulillah, a honorable guest, Rijal Ahmed Rijal. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Thank you for being here again this evening. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I say again, thank you so much. Firstly, as I used to say always, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me opportunity again and again. And I thank also uh, the TV for inviting me to be in here. Jazakumullah khairan. Alhamdulillah. So, Rijal, tonight we want to learn a little bit more about you. I think everybody hasn't had enough. And so we need to just get some more of your story and understand a little bit more about who you are. Um, and we are so grateful that you're willing to share. I wanted to just ask you um, a few questions. Okay. One of them is, can you tell us a little bit about what, I, you know, what has your upbringing been like? Who, what are you? What are your family like? Who oh. are you as a person separate to <laughs> being the famous Nasheed artist? Okay, firstly, I have to say uh, I have to thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for everything have done to me. You know that uh, nothing comes from me or from other person; just comes from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Uh, I was born in the poor family. Alhamdulillah. At a time, uh, my father and my, my mother. I think they fight, you know. When you have a marriage, there is those kinds of things, fighting sometimes, you know. And then my father is from uh, from province of Cabo Delgado. He's there in Maputo. There is a, a, a province that I call it Cabo Delgado. Mm -hmm. And my mother, she's from Maputo. I mean the seat, that the town of Mozambique, uh, 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 we call Maputo. So I was born in Maputo. I grew up in Cabo Delgado. So uh, Alhamdulillah, when I was a child, I was learning a madrasa there, and I can say I passed more things like good and the bad thing, the bad things. You know, when you when you are when you are living without your father and your mother, the, the, the life can be the same, cannot be the same like when you are living with your father and your mother. And then, alhamdulillah, I grew up with my grandmother, and I, I thank her for everything she have done to me, and. Today, I'm here, alhamdulillah. Uh, what is her name? My name is Rijal Ahmed Rijal. No, no, what is your grandmother's name? My grandmother uh, is a Fatima. Fatima, okay. Yes, she's a Fatima, alhamdulillah. That one, she got a nice heart. And until now, she's still alive. Alhamdulillah. Sometimes, I, yes, sometimes I used to help her. Uh, I think always her, like, what she has done to me because she's the one who created me and make me to grow up. And then I knew my mother, my father in 2008, okay. my father. And my mother, I knew her in 2013. Okay. I knew her here in South Africa, not in Mozambique. When I was in, in, in Pemba, I was, uh, I was all, always distracting my father and asking him, please, uh, I need to know my mother, and he, you know? Mm. And my father always says, no, you can't know, you know? So the, so the first time you ever met your mom was yes. in 2013 here yes, in South Africa? Exactly, in okay. South Africa. And then I knew her, alhamdulillah, I say, I, I thank Allah subhanahu Because always I was just making dua mm. to know my mother and my father before they passed away, you know. And then alhamdulillah, Allah, accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted my, my dua. And then I know them. I knew them, alhamdulillah. And now I'm so happy. And I can say the life it was not good at the time, mm. you know. Everything was so bitter. And then now I can say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided me and opened the door for me. And today I am who I am because of Allah and because of my grandmother. Fatima. Yes, Fatima. Alhamdulillah. That's, that's a, it's a very humble beginnings and, and so admirable to come from a difficult you know, childhood to being somebody that clearly is successful. You and know, only Allah can grant that, as you've said. Alhamdulillah, the life is like that. That's why I respect every poor in the world. Mm -hmm. I respect every poor, every, uh, how can I say, orphan, because I know how they passed, you know. Sometimes, you know, I used to sleep uh, with a hunger in myself. There, We used to sleep with a hunger, like uh, passing two or three days sometimes, not getting something nice, you know. Not getting like a, a nice life like other people. You know, but Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows best. Today I'm here. 
He know why he was doing that into them here. That's why I said it before. You remember I said it uh, yesterday when I was here. I said that uh, Allah can test the human being to see how is it strong in Iman. So Allah has tested me, alhamdulillah. And I don't say uh, my father and my, my mother, they, they did bad thing to me, no. I say Allah knows best. Mm -hmm. Why happened this? And then I say thanks to Allah and thanks to my parents. Alhamdulillah, such a positive outlook. And I think that probably comes through your nasheeds very well. One of the things that you mentioned was how passionate you are about um, recognizing and being able to feel the same way that orphans and children who are underprivileged or don't have enough food feel. You've got a nasheed that specifically focuses on that. Am I, yeah. am I correct? No, 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 no. I, I, I made that concede because, you know, like, uh, as I said, I made because I pass it what they used to pass. Mm. Also in myself, alhamdulillah, uh, I used to help the children sometimes. Alhamdulillah, I used to help. And uh, in, in, in Mozambique, alhamdulillah, I'm trying there to build a mosque. And inshallah, I'm going to try my best to get a, or we call what orphanage, something like that. Yeah? So I'm trying to build the mosque and do an orphanage so that I can also try my best to help the children. I don't need to, to see them passing what I passed before. So, you know, as a Muslim, Muslim must, it must feel, you know, to be a Muslim is to be someone who, who how can I say, who got a nice heart, who can help other people around in the world who are passing so bitter, you know, so bad in the world. To help so, and improve situations for people. Come again? To help and improve the yes, situations yes, for yes, people. Yes, 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 yeah. exactly. It's what I'm doing in myself. So also I used to say if there is someone who wants also to help from it, there is no problem. So I can say the uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, the organization, I'm forgetting the, the name, it's a, 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 a... Oceans of Mass. Yes, Oceans of Mass. Alhamdulillah also they have given me hands. Mm -hmm. And they say, uh, Rijal, uh, we heard that you are trying to do uh, the mosque. So inshallah, we're going to also help you. So I'm thankful. That's why I say, Alhamdulillah, they are doing what I love and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. So, and, and you're an alim. So yes. the mosque um, and the orphanage that you're trying to um, provide to the community, that, does that come from your experience being in a mosque, growing up? Because you did mention to me in the break that you uh, studied a lot here in South Africa. In, okay. I think it was Mafia. Yes, yes, I was in Mafia. You know, uh, when I came, you know, uh, as I said, I was, uh, I was learning here in South Africa. When I went in Mozambique, when I started to get the money, so I say to myself, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened the door. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing better I can do in this world as building the mosque. I have to build the mosque and help the poor people mm -hmm. so that they can get the same knowledge Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me. Amen. Amen. Yes. I want to ask you one last question with regards to your nasheeds. Okay. How did you begin um, recording nasheeds and, I mean, do you tour? Oh, well, how did I begin? You know, uh, as I say, at the time I was a singer, I was doing uh, music. Remember I said yesterday, I was doing a music. So when they came, the ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because there's so many verses mm -hmm. of ayats. When shaitan, he promised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm going to lose all the sons of uh, Adam alayhi salatu salam, illa qalila, except to those ones they are going to accept you, and they're yeah. really accepting, you know. So, alhamdulillah, when I started a qasida, my first qasida was about in sa'altum an ilahi fahuwa rahman rahim That was a beautiful qasida, and more people, uh, they love that qasida, alhamdulillah. That's and that was, was the best. beginning? Yes, beginning, that yes. That was the beginning, yes, wow, my first. I was saying, in sa'altum an ilahi fahuwa rahman rahim If you ask me who is my Lord, I'll say, it's a merciful, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aw sa'altum an nabi fahuwa insan azim. If you ask me who is my, my prophet, I will say, is a human being, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you ask me which, which, uh, which kind of book I use or, or which is my book, I will say it's a Quran Kareem, the one Allah SWT has sent to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this story is a story of Imam Shafi. That, that's why I love that so much. He says, Shakawtu ila wakia'i su He said, I went to the, my Sheikh 
to ask him about my, the problem I got with a hifid, you know, memorizing the Quran. And then the Shaykh said, he said, فَأَرْشَدَنِي إِلَىٰ تَرْكِ الْمَعَاسِ You must stop making ma'as. Ma'as means you must stop making like haram. Mm -hmm. You know, haram. Uh, and that's it. He said, وَعَلَمَنِي بِأَنَّ لِعَلْمَ نُورِ And the, the deen of Allah, like the knowledge of Allah, Allah doesn't give someone لا يهد العاس. And that's the part they say, لا يعطى العاس. Allah doesn't give someone who do harams. Like a zina, uh, uh, doing ma a black magic, those kinds of, of things. Mm. And we saw, we saw there's a more Muslims here, some, some Muslims, they do black, black magic. And Allah, he says, وَعَبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا You must obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you mustn't associate him without anything. Mm. So, alhamdulillah. That's uh, how you began yes, doing nasheed. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And on that note, I want to say Jazakallah so much for joining us. I <laughs> really appreciate it. And inshallah, we hope to seeing Rijal Ahmed tour and hear more of the nasheeds and spread the amazing knowledge you have for all the Muslims across the world and non-Muslims. Jazakallah so much for joining <laughs> us. Guys, we'll be back shortly after this.